hey guys in this video i have something a little bit fun a little bit different so i found this on instagram i seen a post and it was by msk nails and she makes these printable sheets where you can pretty much practice hand painting but these can also double as like a sticker so that's how i'm going to be using it today I'm also going to show a little bit of her post somewhere on the screen. I wanted this to be the start of my Halloween series because number one, if you do want this, I want everyone to have enough time to get it because she is in the UK and if you want to buy them and have it shipped to you laminated, it obviously will take some time if you live here in the US. What I did was I bought the digital version and then I went to Staples and had it laminated. So I printed it there then had it laminated because I didn't know how long it would take and I didn't really want to wait. But there is also that option if you're like last minute and you don't feel like ordering it all the way from the UK. But I'll put all her stuff on the screen so if you do want to buy these you can go ahead and buy it. I have seen it floating around from different creators but this was the first one I've seen so I went ahead and bought it. I also would like to add that these are pretty simple to do at home so if you just grabbed a whole bunch of images off Google and if you had a printer you could print it out. If you had a laminator you could laminate at home or you could take it to somewhere like Staples. The design that I'm trying to go for is going to be using this row. I'm not going to use every single one because this is more of a demo. On how to do it first i'm going to be painting this swatch stick black the design that i have in mind is like a chrome killer type of thing i don't know i also gotta figure out what my title is going to be i don't know how to name it but i'm pretty much going to pick some of these up here and then i'm going to make them chrome so i'm done curing the black msk now says to keep the tacky layer onto the gel polish because that's what makes the stencil stick. So I'm not gonna be wiping it off. I'm just gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna put some of my black polish in here. So I'm only gonna be using these three fine brushes. I'm probably only gonna use two. The two goldish orange ones are from Timu and the middle one is the Young Nails Micro Detailer. So I'm gonna start off by painting Michael Myers. I kind of hate the fact that there's a huge glare from my ring light. So I'm gonna try and move this so you guys can see what I'm doing. I really like how simple this is. I did see a few comments on MSK's posts. Actually, no, it was one. I believe it was just one. And the person was like, you'll never catch me doing this. And I'm just like, not everybody can draw. And like, you know, some people do want some of these nail art designs. But if they can't draw and they do their own nails and they don't necessarily want to go to a nail tech, stuff like this should also be fine. I've seen the same argument about nail stickers. And I'm just like, if these things exist, like these mats, stickers, and just, you know, quicker ways to do nail art, I'm going to be the first one to use them. I can draw on nails, but I don't always like doing that because it takes far too long. And sometimes I just want cute nails, but I don't feel like sitting in my room for 45 hours. So I think stuff like this is pretty cool too. And you can also use this to practice. So you don't necessarily even have to use it in this way. So she says for the parts that don't connect, you just kind of peel them up slowly and then just kind of form it on the nail. 
but alternatively you could cure it as it is and then put a top coat over it or a base coat like once you had cured this black here then you'd apply the top coat or the base coat so i'm gonna half cure this and then apply the chrome i'm kind of scared to lift up the individual pieces so what i might do is the top coat method but i'm gonna cure this and then i'll be back to apply the chrome For Michael, I'm going to apply this gold. I'm such a donor, I forgot to do the lips. So I'm just going to apply the top coat. It's coming up, but I'm scared. I hope this does not rip. If it rips, you guys might see me cry on camera for the first time. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't think I could ever cry about something no related. Like if it's not going my way, I just have to try again or just tell myself I'm gonna have to do this a different day. Ooh, it came up. Nice, okay. So that is how gold mics looking. What sucks is I got a little bit of that chrome in the clear parts, but this is really just a practice. So obviously if I plan on doing this again, I'm gonna do it a lot better. She did say when you do it this way, you're gonna have to do a lot of smoothing out and it sometimes will look like a, a water decal, but I don't really mind how this looks it just kind of looks like a sticker which i'm not mad about so off camera i kind of just pressed it around so that it could stay flat on the nail and now i'm gonna apply some top coat to the nail there are some slight imperfections so in the clear part i do have a little section where it didn't stay flush to the nail but this one is my practice one. I think I'm actually going to really focus when I do my second one. I just kind of wanted to get the technique down. I see what she says about individually picking it up. I feel like that's the best way to do it. Also, this is not looking like Mike. <laughs> this is looking like some random dude with a beard. But like I said, I'm going to try it again. And I'm also going to try and paint a lot better. But I'm happy that this turned out pretty decent. For ghost face, I'm going to use this hollow powder. So for this one, I'm going to peel it off section by section.
so this is how this one is looking before i top coated it i do prefer doing it this way picking it up piece by piece my only issue with that is if you're working on a more complicated piece you'll be picking up for a long time that's where i'd favor painting over doing this but if you don't know how to do that this is definitely a good option but it honestly just depends how you feel but this looks pretty cool i think i'm gonna add like a knife up here and then i'll be back to top coat it So for this part of the hat there was those tiny lines that is supposed to be his stitching but I decided not to do it because I didn't have a smaller brush. The lines were so tiny that I'd need something like an eyelash so I decided not to do it. applied this green chrome powder that I got from Timu. I had to peel this one off camera because it was super hard to do. At some point I was like holding my breath making sure that I wouldn't scratch the chrome off or rip the gel polish. So this is the finished result i did two off camera i did this one and this one off camera because i filmed those for tiktok i did film the white one but the video was getting a little bit long so i left it out if you do want to see it i can make a little separate video on it but what do you guys think of these designs which one is your favorite mine is probably the hollow ghost face i also like the purple michael myers ones because in different lighting it looks blue i think it doesn't pop very much because it's against the black i might try it on a white but my overall thoughts on this sheet is that it's a pretty good sheet if you're someone that can't draw or you just don't have the patience it's a good idea the only tedious part about this sheet is having to peel it up individually because you have to be really careful otherwise you'll rip it but other than that it's fairly quick it's kind of like making your own stickers this is similar to you know stamping or you know just an easier way of getting designs onto a nail but again let me know what you guys thought if you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching